Hey guys, it's Keith and I'm here with my Galaxy A50 and two fantastic case choices in what I would call the kind of semi-rugged category. So uh, let's jump in here. So let me, uh, as I power down here to put these cases on, let me sort of explain what this video is and what it is not with regard to how I chose these cases. So um, you've basically got, you know, the really super slim line cases that just barely cover the phone and they're cheap and they protect just a minimal amount. And then you've got the super heavy duty thick cases that are just really rugged military otter box style cases, which are great but they take away the, the thinness, you know, that beautiful slim thinness that we love about our phones as we're putting them in and out and in and out of our pocket all day long. And so um, what we're trying to do here or what this style of case is doing is um, sort of splitting the difference between uh, a, a phone case that retains a little bit of, of slimness to your phone, but yet gives you a little more protection in what I would call sort of a semi-rugged case choice. And so that's what we're looking at. So uh, these are both on Amazon. Now we're gonna start with this guy over here. So this is the Leiyi Galaxy A50 case. There's not much of a model number with this um, on Amazon. It just shows up under Leiyi. And if you put in military case Galaxy A50, you'll find it. Um, there is a little model number here, but I think it's more of the barcode skew for Amazon because this does not show up in the Amazon listing. So just look for Leahy Military Case Galaxy A50 and you'll find this one. So this one is a very nice case. It's got the clear back camera openings and this comes with a, this is part of the case, this ring, this built-in finger ring. And of course it, you know, works like a stand like they all do. Also works in your magnetic mount and so um, in your car for your vent or wherever you mount this in your car so you don't need anything else to put on this case it's ready to go another nice feature here very nice corner coverage see that nice beefy corners that you do not get in these slimmer cheaper uh, you know cases and so that is really a nice feature with this one and uh, of course it preserves the beautiful back right this beautiful nice back that shines through. So let's pop this guy on and check it out. You may notice I have a little bit of a chip here in my screen protector from putting all these all these cases on and off and trying them out. So uh, the phone looks great, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. How do you go wrong with that? You got your built-in finger ring, camera cutouts, no issues with ports at all. Um, headset jack fits just fine in here if you're using a wired headset same with this case uh, that's always a plus for me any negative to this case um, is this finger ring is permanently on here so if it breaks you're stuck with it um, also it is a touch difficult to open at times you have to really get your finger in the right spot and when you're trying to do that from the back and you want to open the finger ring it's not always easy so a minor a minor issue there um, Perhaps a little more of an issue is this one, I wish had just a little more of an edge on it for edge protection. Now it does have an edge and that's more than I can say for some cases. So you are getting an edge and I do have to point out there is a screen protector on this phone already. And so this glass screen protector adds a solid millimeter to the depth here and thickness of the phone. So without that, if you're someone that doesn't use screen protectors, you are going to have some edge protection here that you don't always get because some of the a lot of these cell phone cases I've tried you know they they tend to make them flush with the phone and some of them don't even have a lip that comes over the edge and so um, both these cases do have an edge protection and a little bit of a lip and so I do like that but I just wish it was a bit more on this one so that's really it the rest of the case is great and with that, let's take a look at the next one coming up here, which is the ring key. So another great choice if you want to preserve the nice clear back. And by the way, all these cases get fingerprints. I've already cleaned these off and, and sprayed them and cleaned them a couple times today and prepping for this video and before. And they just, they just pick up fingerprints. It's just the way it is, man. You got to live with it, right? If you're going to have a phone in a case. But um, 
This case is very nice. Again, cutouts. Uh, we've got good corner protection. So if we look over here, see the nice beefed up corners. You just don't get that on the cheaper, slimmer cases for drop protection and whatnot. So I really like this case a lot. Let's pop this guy on. So same thing here. We've got a nice clear back. Looks great. This one you pick up a little extra protection with these, whatever you want to call these knobs or notches. Just a little more beefy than, than the uh, Leahy case here. Um, port openings, same thing, great. Oh, by the way, button placement on both cases, excellent and very functional. No issues on any of these. These cases are virtually the same thickness. This one though, and the big feature I love about it the most, is this one I think really has a nice edge coverage on it, slightly nicer than the Leahy. And you can see it right there. And by the way, I don't know don't know why in more cell phone videos they don't spend time showing you the edge like this. Guys are turning the phones around so quick. And I like to stop and see the edge, and there you can really see it. So again, even with my screen protector on here, which adds a good millimeter depth to the phone, I've got another millimeter or so of edge protection. So this one wins out compared to this one over the edge protection for dropping. And let's face it, guys, I think we need it because if this is a curb and I drop this, you know, a lot of these cases, other manufacturers are designed for this kind of fall, the corners and this kind of a drop. But what about if your phone hits like this on the curb, right? Boom, or like that. So a little edge protection. This one wins out. Um, this one does still have an edge, but this one is just a little more, okay? So um, I love both these cases and they each have their benefits. Um, I think what it comes down to is this one is gonna give you a little more edge protection and this one has the, the built-in ring, okay? And on this one, and so this one's ready to vent mount and whatever you want to do with it. This one, you would have to put that on. But um, they are both fine choices. And I like both of them. I've had them on the phone for days before doing this video and really got uh, comfortable with them. One other thing I'll tell you, um, they're not too slippery. So they both give you some grip. Okay. So if you're like me and you need something to put in and out of your pocket and it's, you don't want it stuck, um, I think this is a nice balance of grip versus, um, you know, not too grippy where it's rubberized, all rubber, and you can't get it in and out of your pocket. Okay? So there you have it. Um, I think this one wins out with a little more edge coverage, and this one wins out for convenience because of the ring and... Um, so there you have it. They're both on Amazon for about $10 to $12, and I, I like them both. So, um, hey, what case are you using? Um, did you come here because of a cracked phone? Are you changing phones or just changing cases? Well, I hope I helped you out here with a couple of good choices in the semi-rugged category. And um, if I did help you out, please like and subscribe, drop a comment, tell me what case you're using or if you have had issues with cases. And uh, we can talk about it in comments. All right? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.